my nine-year-old daughter came um, to me and my husband the other night and asked my husband, did your dad die of Huntington's disease? When my husband said yes, her little eyes filled with tears and she said, Daddy, are you going to die from Huntington's disease? I'm 32 years old now. I should be thinking about my kids' soccer, football, and homework. I'm dying. Please consider gen funding Dr. Jan Holtz's project. Jonathan Thomas. Yes. Art Torres. Aye. Christina Vori. Yes. The motion carries. This disease team award for the first time in history. We have a chance to make a difference for a treatment for Huntington's disease. The world is watching. California is watching. People are tuning in today. This gives hope to the families who have been suffering with this dreadful disease with without any meaningful treatment to halt it or to slow it down. It'll, it'll save families so so we don't ruin, you know, so families don't have to suffer like we do and the families out there so don't have to suffer. You know, their kids can be safe. They can go out and grow up and they can do what they want to do. I think it is the epitome of what Proposition 71 hoped which was scientists and patients coming together to, to find hope. A cure for Huntington's disease would be life-changing. Um, it would mean I'd have more time with my kids as I get older and go towards retirement. I'd be able to see them get married and have their own children. There'll be steps in between, of course, treatments, and they will improve, and finally we'll have a cure for Huntington's disease. And this is why it is so important for us to get the funding, and we want to thank CERM. Without research, you're not going to have a cure. And without the funding, you're not going to have the research, no matter how, how bad everybody wants it. I look forward to the day when we get to stand out in front of the UC Davis Institute for Regenerative Cures and announce the cure for Huntington's. Thank you.